Homosexuals are reddit. What is something about being gay that a straight person would never guess is a thing you have to deal with on a regular basis? Planning my wedding was a pain. Are you going to wear a dress? Are you going to have bridesmaids or groomsmen? Where do we sit? Are you allowed to do I it in a church? Yes. Our wedding party consisted of myself. My husband. The minister. And my baby still is the floor general. My husband and I walked each other down the aisle. The minister read a Walt Whitman poem. We exchanged rings and vows and had a nice buffet set out for us. No dancing. No silly games. Just marriage and fake Italian food. It was great. When people in my family say things like we always knew. Or something else to that effect. It breaks my heart every time. And I want to go F King Postal just thinking about all the terrible, awful, and downright shameful shti they said about gay people when I was such a young, innocent child on a journey to find myself just like anybody else. I did so much shti I absolutely hated just to appease everyone else when I could have been pursuing my own unique interests. Feels like I lost my right to a fair childhood. Forgiveness is hard. But I do it to not cause any more controversy than I need to. You never know who is secretly homophobic whether at work or in public so I'm always having to act straight in a lot of situations until you trust the person which can wear you down mentally. Also can really get depressing when every song, movie and TV show is centered around a man and a woman or heterosexual dating shows. You get sick of never being represented but straight PPL don't really get it. Also straight people definitely take for granted the fact it's acceptable to show PDA but gay people get told to put that shti away. I'm sure other people will be bring up the serious stuff. So let me instead take this opportunity to represent the gay slovenly basement dwellers of the world and air my grievances. I don't think there's enough gay porn. Oh sure. There's still more of it than any human being could watch in a lifetime. But I feel like my straight male peers are spoiled for choice in a way that I'll never know. Maybe they are just exaggerating. But it sounds like you can literally just think of any premise on the spot and lo and behold there's already porn of it. Not so for the gays and frankly it's oppressive to always feel like I'm settling. Like. Sure. Maybe I can find a video of a naked guy jumping up and down on a pogo stick if the mood strikes. But is there going to weirdly grown up kids who've been living on their own since being kicked out by their bigoted parents at 16. All the reference points you're taught to expect growing up in a straight family watching straight media are thrown off. For some reason. When people find out I'm a lesbian. 
they feel the need to say but you don't look gay as though my appearance has any impact on my sexual orientation. It's a small thing to some but to me it makes me feel invalidated just because I don't fit a stupid stereotype. It's even worse when other gay people say it to me. I don't look gay. Well you don't look ignorant but I guess we're both wrong lol. That being gay inherently means being accepted by other gays. Between the body shaming. And the alcoholism. And the drug use I just as happily avoid most other gays. I'm not all that attractive. And I have social anxiety so whenever I actually work up the courage to try to flirt or ask someone out I get a response of you. No. I've only ever gone to pride once or twice. And got stressed out and left after an hour or two. Same with gay bars. I've just never really felt welcomed or accepted. And it's hard for me to make friends who are gay for a lot of the same reasons. I'd rather just avoid it all and stay home. We have to constantly police our language. A common homophobic thing I hear is why do you all flaunt your sexuality but I think a lot of straight people don't realize how frequently they tell me they're straight without realizing it. Whether it's my husband wife or oh that person is hot. Double quote. Meanwhile I have to constantly wonder how will this person react if they know I'm not straight. Double quote. Getting polite service is difficult. I make an effort not to look gay. But I naturally look pretty gay. Gas station attendants and front desk office workers are usually the worst offenders. Office workers will sometimes purposely send you on goose chases because they don't want to serve you. It usually helps if I'm accompanied by another person of the opposite gender so that it looks like I'm in a heterosexual relationship. Sometimes you get glared at in public and you're like whoa what's with these people? I smiled at like 3 people and they all glared at me. And then you remember homophobia exists and you're like oh right. A few from my experience. So this might just be relative to where I live but the dating pool is pretty small. It's not uncommon that to have dated the same people as your partner here. I still question my sexuality and how I define myself within the LGBT plus community. I've been thinking about 10 plus years and still am unsure something. I think and discuss it with my friends who are also LGBT plus a lot. Some of them feel similar. Some of them don't. Straight people always want to know what your type is. It always feels like a test to see if you find them attractive. Is she flirting with me or is she straight and just friendly? Am I flirting with her? If I am. Does she know? Will she make the first move? If she expects me to make the first move. Will I disappoint her if I don't? Or would making a move freak her out and she'd never talk to me again because she's actually straight? This is why I date boys despite being more into girls. I look like a butch dyke. And attractive fam girls seem to expect me to make the first move because of arcane and archaic mask fam gender roles. Meanwhile they're the ones you can't tell are queer. I have realized 3. 5. Or even 13 years later. Oh. FCK. She was totally into me. Double quote. I'm gay and out of the closet. I still remember this talk with a straight girl acquaintance of mine. We were talking about the future. Family and stuff. I mentioned the problem of not being able to legally marry or adopt. Yes. Is terrible you can't have a family. BTW I get two guys getting a boy. But two guys getting a girl? Sounds fishy. I would worried for her well being. Ladies and gentlemen. Our ally. That being gay isn't a choice. That I didn't wake up choosing who I was attracted to and how infuriating it is that. That part of me is called a lifestyle or sexual preference and let me let you in on a secret I probably would not have chosen being gay if this was a choice. Not saying. I'm not comfortable with who I am. But it can be challenging and painful. Who would choose family rejection? Being subjugated to bias and homophobia on a daily basis? Who? This strange phenomenon where because you are queer, strangers, mostly straights, feel entitled to every detail of your personal romantic life. AKA. How's the sex? Is it good? Who is on top bottom? How do you all have sex anyway? Does it count as sex if there's no penetration or is it always just for play? Is it hard to find someone to date when you're the way you are? 
Comma sir based off a true example, why do you break up with them? You all were so cute together. You guys were the only gay couple I know. Etc. Never ending overly personal questions and comments. I'm not gay. I consider myself bisexual. One thing I learned from the gay men I dated is that being gay means that you are going to be really lonely a lot of the time. If you are straight you can date almost half of the population of any area you live in. When you are gay, your dating pool is much, much smaller. If you live in a small town, you will likely know every single gay or be man in that town and they are your only choice.